everyone welcome back to my channel this is olivia how are you all doing it has been such a long time since i come to uh, youtube but today i have a very quick tutorial for you guys so if you remember um the last year or so i'm pretty sure it was the last year uh, i did a uh, tutorial just like a quick tutorial on uh, how to color flowers um, so I went through with you uh, many different ways to how to shade the petals um, gradients and whatnot so, and you can just apply the basic technique into whatever uh, flowers you color so I promise with you that I am going to show you uh, basically very similar uh, way uh, but for leaves so i have today um, a very quick tutorial on how to uh, color leaves very basically so if you remember i shall use uh, these page, uh, pages in johanna book and there is so many so many leaves and i also did a tutorial on how to color uh, these leaves with you guys using polychrome oil. so if you want uh, to watch the video i will link it down below but have you ever wonder if you can do colors like this without looking at any other color along so today i'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna do it uh, these colors right here I have prepared a page and these have just basic uh, flower shape those flower that I print on the page it is from this book so um, if you want to practice you can practice on this and I'm pretty sure Johanna give this uh, two pages for free as well on her website I will find it out I will link it out in the description for you so you can download it and print it out and practice so without further ado let's get started so to demonstrate this uh, tutorial I am going to use a couple of Christmas color pencils so the color that I am going to use very very simple and you can find it any in any color set doesn't need to be artist a uh, student set should have them as well so i'm gonna swatch the colors out for you and the reason why i picked this color is you can pretty much find it anywhere of course and those are very basic colors so you can use it and practice and then later on you know leaves have so many colors you can just uh, pick whatever you, uh, color you like but basically so leaves um, the first one I'm gonna show you so all of this is pretty much gonna require at least three colors um, so for example in this one I have the very basic three color but I'm gonna throw in just one more colors to make it as nice as possible but usually you just need around three colors so you will need a middle colors which is like a medium shade in your um, color combination that you are going to use and a dark color so I have the brush and green apple green and the green and I found that for any color combination you use whatever you use pink combination purple combinations the cream is the most uh, versatile one that you can use to apply highlight uh, for your leaves so I'm gonna draw in just one extra color which is a chartreuse to make it a little bit nicer so we're gonna have a basic four colors so let's get started and the first color uh, the first uh, technique that i am going to show you is the gradient so if you watch my uh how to colors how to pick colors uh, for your coloring pages uh, those that video i did explain what a gradient is like so gradient is basically just a from dark to light or light to dark in the same color family so we have all the green right um 
and we can do some gradient very basic you can do gradient from blue to purple but um, today we I am going just to uh, use the green but very basic green colors for the flowers and I am going to um, start first with this leaf so this leaf you see a lot in Johanna Basford and this is a very basic shape of leaves and I'm going to first apply in the middle color so this in this case it is a apple green and you for the first uh, technique I am going just to use from dark to light from the bottom to the top so the lightest color going to be at the top Next, I am going to use the chartreuse. In, I'm gonna blend that out, and then I'm gonna use a cream as the highlight. So, what it this leaf will give us? It will make it look like the sun highlight on it. So and i'm gonna add in the russian green at the bottom to make it a little bit darker now a lot of you send me questions uh through email and ask me why your coloring look a little bit uh, flat so if it's look a bit flat just adding a tiny a, a darker color either you need a darker color for some shadow or you will need some highlight into it and you can see it look really really lovely so that is the very basic one so you can apply this technique for any types of leaf you can color for this one you can color for this one doesn't matter what the leaves look like you can always apply this technique now for the ring outside usually for me i like to do gradient as well but i will do the opposite so for example for this leaf right um, I have the gradient, the light is at the top and the dark at the bottom. So for the edges, I'm going to apply the dark at the top, just the opposite way. So it, all the color kind of contrast with each other and it look a little bit more nicer uh, in a fantasy way. Uh, if you just want a leaf to look like normal leaves, then you can just you know blend out the color outside the edges as well and act as like it's no outline um, you can use that way but I'm gonna show you how it look with the gradient outside the opposite way and there you are it will basically look like this and our first one is done now for the second one very simple i'm gonna go from the top to the bottom so basically the same so again um it doesn't really matter i felt that either you start with the dark color or the light color uh, the only important thing is when you pick out the color they should be all blend nicely to to each other so make sure you just uh, swatch out on your your swatch book or on a piece of paper make sure all the color blend nicely and there you go I have all of these now another thing that I want to show you is this is a tip and you can see in all these color it is a warm green so what is a warm green mean what is warm mean warm is is when it's have a tint of yellow in it so it lean to the yellow spectrum you can see the shade tree look a little bit have yellow in it the apple green very nice and bright a little bit yellow also the brush and green even it's dark it still look like it have some hint of yellow in it and of course the cream is just a yellow which is um, lighter version of the yellow so 
what will I do to make it look a little bit more interesting uh, with just those four colors I'm gonna apply in a darker green but it is going to be a cool tone green so what is cool tone cool tone is um, is the color will be a bit closer to the blue so as watch it out for you and you can instantly see there is a bit of blue tone in this one and that is my tip for you uh, when you go for a warm green just apply in a little bit of cool green for the shadow and it will look really really nice with the contrast so I'm gonna show you how it look when we apply this in and there it is and as you can see usually um, if you want to make something darker you would go for a black or like a brown but if you go for the same kind of green colors but in a opposite way so this is a warm uh, warm green you're going for the cool green for the shadow you look how much is bring out your leaves and it just add a very nice touch to it very different from this one but all we do is just add one color one extra color now for the outside i'll just do the opposite way so i'm gonna go start with the top with the light color and i'm gonna gradient down i'm gonna very rough with it this color Oh, and also if you want to ring what paper I'm using I am just using normal printer paper not nothing is special there you go so you have this now for this leaf uh, you can add in, in the middle vein for it you can see there's a vein here you can just use the dark colors and adding in some darker vein for it like this but usually I when I do gradient like this, I don't bother adding it in because I just kind of like the, uh, it sort of look a little bit like a chain uh, effect. So I don't usually add it in. Now, for the last one, it's going to be gradient as well, but it's going to be from both sides. So we're going to have a dark color from both sides and a light area will be right in the middle so make the leaves look shiny uh, so if you you want to do something a bit more fantasy looking these are the leaves for you so i'm just going to apply all of these color gradually add it in there you go and of course you can go the other way as well so you can start the dark in the middle and the light uh, on the edges personally i don't really like that look that much because it make it look a bit weird <laughs> on leaves anyway so i don't usually do it and i'm gonna show you a little trick to make it look better now you can see the, we are very systematic see uh, we have dark color go in into the lights so very straight light but if you take your medium color in this case the uh, apple green and you just go around the edges like this and blend a little bit so make it look like um, the highlight trap in the little feet is fear it will make it appear nicer a, li a little bit more natural looking even though this is not really natural is it but that is a little trick for you and for the outside i'm just gonna go from the dark uh, sorry the light at the top and the dark at the bottom so that is just for the edges and for the edges i don't mind uh, to do this way So whatever you 
why you color the inside just do the opposite for the outline and you have a perfect little leaves and if you like this look you can apply it for any any leaf you like and you can see you want a bit darker you can apply in the cool green this in this case it is a dark green from the prisma color there you go so you have your perfect three little leaves very different white this one doesn't have the cool green in it which is fine too which is just pretty on its own but there you go this one we start to adding in the cool green and this one is the highlight in the middle so those are the first one so that is the gradient just cut a whole um, vertical gradient straight gradient for the second types of leaves what you can usually see is these types of leaves that doesn't really have the outline and these are look a little bit more natural so um, I have some more gradient for you but instead of going straight like this follow the leaves I'm gonna go horizontal way so very simple you're gonna pick up your middle color and for the first one we're gonna do gradient from both sides and we're gonna keep the light color right in the middle and you can see I just applied it in gently and I go for the shadow this is a very basic color blending uh, you can use it for your own coloring using these colors and for the green right in the middle okay and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Russian green for the edge So you can see we kind of trap all the color in the middle and this one you kind of have to go back and forth blend it a little bit it's a little bit uh, more work than the first one that we do so I just go back in with the apple green which should be your middle colors and I just blend it out some more and blend using the cream all together so now I have this sort of looking leaf now when you look at it it looks nice but something missing because for these types of leaves the vein is very visible and it is such a uh, important part of the leaves too so what I do is I like usually I would go in with the darkest color um, and I'm gonna start to outline the veins of the leaves and when you outline just uh, kind of go over the line a little bit like so there you go so you will have something look like this and you can see is look very very nice so now next for the second one now for the second one I'm gonna go the opposite way which is we're gonna start from the middle first now if um, this leaves a little bit more but if you have a bigger leaves you can I'm gonna show you in a bit I'm gonna talk about it in a bit um, but let's just apply the colors in now when you color the dark from the from the middle try to blend the color follow the shape of the leaf so you can see i don't just like go straight like this but i kind of flare the color uh blend the colors follow the shape of the leaf so it kind of triangle like this now what it does is it will make your leaves appear to be like open from the inside out like this so that's a little trick you can go in and blend out the rest of your light color 
And you can see the color flow a lot nicer than if you just go kind of blend them, the color straight out from the top and cut kind of even from both sides. Then it's kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna go back in with the dark color and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker right here. There you go. You can see very, very pretty uh, gradient. Now, there is uh, some leaf is draw a little bit bigger, so you can leave this vein and uh, add in a lightest color, so white or something like that, uh, to make this vein appear to be light color but for this small one sometimes I like to just use a white gel pen or like any postcard pen that you have you can also use any acrylic paint pen I have a cheap brand the Tuli Art one you can use postcard pen as well and this is just a bright green and I like to just apply it in for the vein like this you can find definitely probably can find a brighter color when the brighter color it look a little bit better um, so there you go you can have this um, like that very very simple so just a kind of opposite way of what we did before try to lean out the pen properly there you go and I really like the look of that now for the next one I'm gonna go with again the middle colors but for this time I'm gonna go on the edge and we're gonna treat these leaves as two different areas so the vein in the middle will separate these two areas so we're gonna do one on that side and we're gonna do the same side but for this side you can see similar like that and what this effect will give us is some nice uh, very curly leaves and it usually work with most of leaves uh, depends on if you would like to look like the sun kind of heating it either from the top or the bottom I usually go for this side because I usually treat like the sun come from the top but it's all up to you okay and I'm gonna apply hey sorry darker color then on this side as well there you go so you have a completely look different like this one so if you have a bunch of leaves and you have limited colors try to color them different way to see if it helps to make your page look a little bit more interesting uh, more fun to color as well I know some of you probably hate um, color repeating the same stuff there you go so I really like that now you can leave it like this sometimes I also make the tip a little bit darker like so as well but it all's up to you so you can also leave it like you can make it a little bit darker depends on how I usually feel <laughs> at that moment there you go so you got that one and it look absolutely stunning and look how much character you put in just by changing the way you color them right so plus is this kind of lace so this kind of lace sometimes 
Um, they're really really hard to color but I'm gonna show you a way to color them quite easily so the same with these four color that I've been using I'm gonna apply in the middle color first the middle shade of green first for the bottom of each little section like so and I'm gonna leave a little highlight on the top There you go, so you have that. Now you're gonna go in with a darker green, and you don't want to blend this green out too much, just keep it right at the edge, okay? And you wanna to add a little bit along the main vein, like so. Now, you can add in the light green and the green. Instead of the green or the light yellow like this, you can also go for a really light green. Um, I know Prisma Color have the gray green light, which is very beautiful colors. I, I usually use that colors as well. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the cool green, which is a dark green in this case. Just a little bit along the edge nicely. And I'm gonna keep the middle vein light. There you go. So you have something like that. How fun is that look, isn't it? Alright, next one. Now for next one, uh, the next one, it gonna be a little bit more differently. So you can see, uh, from the beginning to now, we almost just blending color. So we kind of burnishing the color and blend them on top. So now for this one, we're gonna do sort of like just scratching. I don't really know how to explain that method, but you sort of like flicker like this. You know, like how when you do hair. So we're gonna do this movement um, and again for this little petal here I'm gonna go with a darker color first I usually go for the darker color for this K and I just gonna go from the L uh, from the inside L and you can see it kind of give a very sketch uh, sketchy look to it so like like when you sketch your your drawing um, and I'm gonna go for a darker green this one is a cool tone one and now you can just gradually flicking it out And you have a quite fun looking leaves. Now for the green, I'm just going to blend the very tip. Okay. And adding in for the vein in the middle. I usually just go for quite a dark color. There you go. So you have something look like that. And you can see how different it looks compared to this one. It gives you a completely different look. Alright, so last one. Now for the last one, I'm going to go the opposite way. So earlier we're going to add the dark here. Color here. Now we're going to add from the top. Now this method mostly used for these types of leaves that have kind of a section like this and I found that these types of leaves is quite, uh, quite a lot. Yeah, you can find a lot of them in coloring book. So I hope you can find this method. Um, 
helpful for you and there you go you just gonna blend it out and I'm gonna use a darker green to do this white now for this one I'm not gonna go along the edge line so I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna go top and the bottom and highlight right in the middle so there you go so we have three different look of these leaves and look how different each of them look from each other now another tip I want to show you is you should have a reddish uh, brow color so in this case I'm going to use a burnt ochre usually it's ochre burnt ochre brow ochre uh, either color or red some kind of those color will help you now this color you can use with any combination usually I like to use it with the green uh, then let's say purple or pink those fantasy color leaves um, you shouldn't add in the, this color because it's a little bit sad now what are these color do I'm gonna swatch out for you now you can see this color it is a reddish kind of brown colors and it will help you to create a four leaf look so when the leaves start changing or when it look a little bit dead um, so a bit sad so you can just use these these are just essence color where you can add for example um, I'm gonna show you for this one you can just add a tiny bit very lightly on the edge of this leaf and it will give you a nice full looking leaves like so you can see how it's changed the leaves completely from like a fresh leaf now it's kind of old leaves looking and i also like to use the espresso espresso is a very nice color it's kind of like a dark brown colors uh, that go really well with any green combination you use for the leaf so i can i usually use it for shadow or i'm gonna make the edges look even a bit darker so look even more maybe burnt um there you go so you can use the to just add a tiny bit of color on the edge of these leaves and it will just turn your leaves to a completely different look you can see we can add over there you can add a little bit here and of course if you need to blend the colors out you can use a green just to blend all the lightest color of your uh, combinations and then just blend it out like so and how fun is that look and how simple is that there you go so that is all for today guys i hope you have fun um, learning how to color leaves with me and i hope this will be useful for you when you're just starting out coloring and i will see you in the next time in the meantime take care and happy coloring bye